I got into specialty coffee in the 80s when we had a specialty kitchen store and we sold Green Mountain Coffee. And they would roast it to order. It was excellent coffee. Um, and then early in the 90s, Green Mountain um, expanded their business. They went public, their, they took their company public. They started roasting huge batches of coffee, valve sealing it, putting it into um, bags on shelves. Um, the coffee that we were getting no longer was one or two days out of their roaster. It could have been one or two weeks out of their roaster. And it makes a huge difference. Like freshness is what we had been known for. We were a huge client for them at that time. Um, but the quality was not up to snuff for me. So I bought a coffee roaster and I learned how to roast and I taught myself how to, how to roast. And in like 1993, we became Prime Roast Coffee Company. You know, I'll say this, it was a huge challenge taking a building that was built in the 1800s and making it into a state-of-the-art roasting facility. Um, the building is gutted, it's all brand new. I mean, the, the building is now super efficient. You know, it's got all LED lights, it's got um, radiant heat in the floors. Um, Part of the thing that's holding the structure together is foam insulation, three inches in the walls. It's, you know, it, it, it's well insulating the building, but also sound deadening um, and structural integrity um, for the old brick, which is super important. Um, so although it was a mill house, it is now a little industrial, we'll call it an industrial factory. Um, it still retains a lot of its charm, but it's been transformed into a building that looks like a, a commercial building, but it didn't lose any of its, I don't think, character. If anything, I think it's enhanced. So, very proud of it. <laughs>